Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're gonna start a new box. This one is 19 pounds, and I think this is the first one out of Pennsylvania. So, all right, well, this is a good sign. Woohoo! It is lined. Fabulous. All right, let's get started and see what we have. All right, this box didn't have a ton, but what it did have was pretty nice. We have two pairs of clip-ons by Sarah Coventry, and then the bows and the little red drops. These are both screwbacks, both unbranded. These are Beyond Whimsical. These clip-ons are by Trafari, and they have the suits of the playing cards. So if you have someone who is a card player in your life, I think that would be a really, really cute gift. And we did end up with a little bit of silver in the box. This pair of earrings, they would be 925 sterling. And we have just a few more pairs. This would be LS, Leah Sophia, cute little dangle hearts. These are by Trafari, classic gold and silver. We had two pairs by LA Browning. So these are a nice vintage pair. I uh, love the colors on those, absolutely gorgeous. These are not marked. These are Avon. These have a great uh, turquoise look. I mean, sometimes they have a really eh look, but these have a great look. Little glass beads. And really fun with the, you know, kind of that gold and cream color. You know, really double the outfits you could wear that with. Great little fashion, blue and green. Great little boho pair here. Very whimsical, cute little skates, and then silver and black. And we have two more, can't go on the card, so we have a really classic pair of, you know, I think they're aluminum uh, navy hoops, and then a little pair of huggy silver tone hoops. Let's move on to some bracelets. Um, we had another wooden toggle with glass beads, aren't those great? And this one is a, just a silver tone, but it is not stretch. It's got a fold over. We have those two. We have a slinky one. Okay, this one has a really little mixed bag. We have glass, we have acrylic beads, so, you know, a little bit of everything. And that one, just a really nice little, you know, wooden. Oh, wooden. This is wooden, folks. You know what? It's been a long day. Metal. <laughs> All right, I love this clamper. A, you know, we've got the rounded square, nice, tight, beautiful red. I think that was, uh, you know, quite a little fun. We haven't had anything quite like that. And they just keep getting a little more eclectic. We have a stretch plastic, stretch, uh, you know, this is like the faux amber, and these are supposed to be, you know, metallic. I mean, it, they don't feel real plastic, but yeah, some kind of mystery thing going on there. And then, you know, just one of these. These are just always fun. Faux mother of pearl. And these ones, which are just loving this one, are the, look at that bright yellow. Isn't that great? Okay, these two are just fun. You know, with the nice big plastic. Excuse the dogs. We always have somebody coming through. Uh, the great plastic roses. I love those. We have a bangle that is supposed to be stone, but it's very lightweight. Some great little rhinestones. A youth style charm bracelet. And I mean, look at, we've got like the bell bottoms. I mean, just really cute. And then we ended up with some really, really decent looking bangles. So, I mean, not a ton of bracelets, but not bad either. We also had quite a collection of, you know, little, little pieces, little bits and pieces. This seahorse is beautiful. It is definitely not one of the little knockoffs. You get a pack, you know, of six. This is great workmanship here. This one, look at the colors on that. Comes to a head with a dragon. I'm not sure. I have never seen this, this style of a clip. Maybe for, it's definitely not hair, but maybe for a scarf or a dress. But look at the little Scotty dog. Is that just not adorable? 
Uh, this clip, tie clip, is by Foster's. And this one is no name, but it's really cute too. And then we ended up with a lipstick mirror. Look how beautiful that is. And there's where it would have clipped on and would have opened for the mirror. How cute is that? We have not received anything like that. I don't know if I'd classify that as jewelry, maybe jewelry for your lipstick, but I just love that. We're gonna kick the necklaces off with some newer and we're definitely gonna work our way backwards to some beautiful throwback. You know, this is one of the standard statement pieces. We've seen those quite a bit. And if blue wasn't your color, we also have it in black. But hold on, there's one more. Except this one is in a little different configuration. Same basic, you know, style of beading here. But this one has the triple strand on the bottom. The, you know, the two larger going up and then a nice chain. So definitely started with something newer. Look at these beautiful strand here. They are plastic, but that color, you know, the color is fabulous. These have a great feel. You know, this is that robin egg blue turquoise. Uh, you know, these definitely have a nicer feel to them. It's not just your typical plastic. This has no clasp. So if you have, you know, like a very large hairdo going on, this would not be the one. Or you'd need to put these on first. These are also, you know, kind of acrylic feeling. Nice feel to them too. Not like today's modern plastic. And another long piece. We have the faux amber. I think that would have, um, you know, really nice application for this time of year. Speaking of, look at this one. Is that not gorgeous? Look at these beads here. I mean, they're not flat. They kind of have that bow tie going on. Let's see if I can get it like that. I lo love this one. Okay, it was nice to see this one. The clasp has Hong Kong on it. It's a triple strand. And long, 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 here it comes. And there we go. And these beads, I don't know if they're if it will translate very well on the film, but each one of these beads, they're ribbed. So it's like, you know, almost like a like you know, like a little accordion. But is that not just you know, come on. That I that is just fun. Okay, and this one is a little more on the traditional, like you know, newer scale here. We have the three strands on the bottom. It is a single strand on top. That I think would be beautiful for nighttime right now. We have seen this in a couple of different sizes. The faux pearl. Look how long this is. Look at all of this beaded goodness. And the luster they get on these for the fact that they're plastic is amazing to me. I mean, just, oof, that is nice. Okay, we have seen our fair share of this Melanie Orange Sherbert kind of color here. These are acrylic or plastic, and then we have this great pair of earrings. These are heavier, uh, so this is some kind of maybe uh, ceramic, but I think they go beautifully. Look at, look at this color beautifully with this necklace. The box had some beautiful pearls. Okay, we had these five necklaces, four here, and I've got one more to come. Uh, they're all glass pearls. Each one has a little different clasp. Look how beautiful they are, nice and shiny. This one still has its tag on it. It says made in Taiwan. So we had these four with the different clasps. And then we had this one but it has the matching bracelet. So I thought that was a very nice little find indeed. This glass pearl necklace, really short. I think it's probably in the 15, 16 inch. And it is, you know, with the wire wrapping going on. I think that was gorgeous. 
This one is more of a fashion. They're lighter weight, you know, hollow pearls. I think that would be great for an evening out. Great for a business suit too, I think. This one is just full on fun. It has this lighter chain up here. And then we come down to some glass pearls. And these are clear with like kind of like this netting, this metallic netting. So nice and long. I think you've got a lot of possibilities with that one as well. And then we ended up with some gorgeous gold tone. This one is by Avon. And it has these great little, almost like a floral motif, little medallions. And lots of sparkle and shine with that one. This is a double strand with, you know, the black chain. These really multifaceted little clear beads. And it has just one little tiny drop. That is just sweet. It's just sweet. Okay, this one I think was one of my favorites out of the box. It has the, like the tag bar here, but it's not, it's not marked. It feels like an older Monet. It has that nice buttery feel. Look at that, just look at that shine. That sparkle, oof, love that one. This is a little bit bigger look. It doesn't have quite, you know, quite that gold look. The, you can tell the color difference, but it's still very beautiful. So we have that piece. And we do have a little Monet. Look how tiny this one is. <clears throat> Definitely like 15, 16 inches. That one is adorable. And this one is also unbranded. And it has a great feel also. You know, I, I don't know if maybe the tags were taken off, but these are nice pieces. This is a multi-strand. You can tell it is not exactly the same kind of quality. But my gosh, look how long this is. I mean, I think this this may be rivaling like 48 inches. Beautiful though. So I mean, but there's a there is a lot there. We have a new piece in the package. It's a multi-strand. So it looks to be pretty darn long too. This one is by Art A R T. Look at that multi-strand. Kind of almost like that Art Deco kind of look going on up here. And we have plastic, made to look like, I think, pearl or like moonstone. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. Love that. This one is by Vittori. Okay, we have this huge, I think it's a wheat chain. I mean, it is nice diameter. You know, we have the toggle down here. Uh, I think we're missing something. I mean, we have these, and then this one has, you know, the little tiny clasp down here. So I think we're missing something. But for parts, I think that would be great too. This one is by Just Jewelry, still has its tags. And it has hope, and obviously the breast cancer awareness. I, you know, I reminded everybody in the last video, gonna remind you again, if it's your time to have your mammogram, please have it done. Don't wait, don't hesitate, please have it done. It certainly could save your life. It did for one of our, uh, one of our friends here of the channel, uh, Lorraine with Lilliputian Place. She is sharing her journey. So by all means, check her out. Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly, she's documenting it. Uh, and gentlemen, if you, you know, think you have something going on, also do that. And everybody, monthly, monthly exams. Okay, off my soapbox, but it's important, guys. Really, really important, all right? Okay, this one is by Sarah Coventry. And you know, it's a little worn. It looks like somebody really enjoyed this piece. Same thing with this one. This is also Sarah Coventry. And so is this. This is an, an, an you know, cloisonne enameled butterfly. So all three of these are Sarah Cove. Um, all three look like they have been loved. I still think there's a lot of life in them, but you know, pre-loved, but still beautiful. 
Okay, Pennsylvania. Ooh, I'm thinking this is probably the last box from them. Uh, this was, the box was 19 pounds, and this is 9 pounds, 4 ounces of craft. We have, even though this box didn't say anything about craft, it said, you know, fashion jewelry. Their idea of fashion jewelry was destroyed, uh, broken, uh, missing things. I'm not sure why they considered all of this good wearable jewelry, because it's not. So... Uh, we've got over nine pounds of fabulous crafty goodness for someone who's going to purchase, you know, one of these craft boxes. So there is some wonderful stuff from craft, not so much for nice wearable jewelry. So Pennsylvania, eh, 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 take that with a grain of salt. All right, gang, this is going to be the last push. You know, with that much craft, there's not a whole, there's not a whole lot left in the box. But what what we've got coming up is definitely my favorite and just gorgeous. All right, I say it every time. Every time you see these uh, paper rolled beads, this is way harder than it looks. And these are gorgeous. It has some beautiful grays and greens. I love the colors of that. These are meant to look like stone, but these are very, very lightweight. Could be maybe like a paper mache medium and glass beads. So really nice little piece here. This is certainly Kind of a vintagey throwback here in plastic. Love the shape of these. This is just, that's just gorgeous. Stone, faux turquoise, glass, some silver, very lightweight silver beads. I think that has a lot of fun and whimsy going on there. Love those colors. All right, this has glass beads silver tone love the color of the black and the white and the gold you know very classic love that one too i love I, this end here i'm really loving these this is heavier we have some glass beads some larger metallic beads kind of that antique gold look isn't that beautiful and the jewel tones very fall, very, very nice for this time of year. Okay, and this is certainly one of the most fun kind of statement pieces. These are plastic and they all move. They have great articulation. They're nice and smooth. The black and white combo. I mean, that is just timeless. Just love that. I mean, just, ugh. All right, now this one, hmm. I'm not exactly sure what these are. I don't want to say they're bone because that, you know, that's not my favorite thing in the world, but there does look like some striations here. So uh, could be faux, right? Mm -hmm. But the part I do love, these beads, um, you know, they're meant to look like, I think, cloisonne, but they are painted and they each have a little bit different scene with, it looks like leaves and berries. I mean, look at this. Is this not gorgeous? This is certainly in the running for one of my favorite artistic pieces in this box. Okay, we have this longer black and white. And these again are plastic. Isn't this great? And you know, these are individual beads here. So I think that is just full on full on fun. Okay, this is gorgeous. Here we've got the plastic again and the faux cloisonne. Look at these. Beautiful painted though. Isn't that gorgeous? I think actually they're probably appliques, you know, with the gold added afterwards, but still a lot of pop going on there. Okay, this one here, you didn't really fit the box. You know, we have the wooden beads and then we have a, a a pirate head okay um yeah all right so <laughs> it's kind of like one of those things doesn't belong yeah it doesn't seem like it belongs to me but we're happy to have it okay this one is bella ryan a good seller for us and that's like the key very nice this one says lady juicy 
on that one. Okay, so we did have a few marked pieces here. All right, this one is just full on funky cool. I love this. It's by Nine West. And we have these great, great movement here and the matching earrings. So nice little necklace and matching earrings. And the green is fabulous, that kind of minty green, almost that teal. Ugh, love that. Okay, and we're going to end the box on one of the most unusual pieces we've had in a very long time. All right, folks, when's the last time you had an articulated Charlie Chaplin pendant necklace? Yeah, yeah, we ended up with one. So <laughs> great clankability, a little bit of wear, but I mean, most of the paint is still on the face and you can definitely tell who this is. But uh, yeah, if you ask me, you know, what I would not expect to see in a box, this would be it. All right, guys, that is the box. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the, the kind of funky cool. So thank you again for liking, commenting, subscribing. We really appreciate you spending time with us. We really do. Until next time, take care. We'll see you soon.